the second type of uh, subjective, we call it formulaic subjective. Means we have limited form that we do not change. Uh, we take an example. If we say, for example, heaven, let's say, save the king or queen. See, this is like a wish, like a prayer, dua, like this. So here, if we want to see, there is no concord because if we remove heaven, we have to put, for example, it. And if we have it, so in this case, we have to add what? S to the third person singular. But we say what have, saves the, uh, the, the king or the queen. We do not add S. It means formula means form. Say ratapte. Or to say, for example, say God, say bless the, for example, army. God bless the army. Again, if we remove it and we, for example, we put he, so he you have to say what? God blesses the army, etc. So in this case, it is formulaic in sense they are limited form uh, where we, we do not make a concord between the subject and the verb. We have like this. So we keep, we keep it as a, uh, as a symbol or base form. The last category of subjunctive, we call it were subjunctive. Here we, we use were, we're supposed to use uh, uh, the uh, was. But here uh, in a hypothetical situation, imaginary situation. For example, if, if I were a bird, to say I wouldn't eat, for example, insect. For example, if I were, again, we call it where because I supposed to take what I was. But this is imaginary situation. So it is not possible for a person to be what? To be a bird. But we say, if I were a bird, I wouldn't eat insects. And there is um, an uh, English proverb also say, for example, if I were in your shoes, in your shoes, say, I would behave say, in a different way. If I were in your shoes, we say in your shoes here means if I were in your position, as we say, this is a proverb. So in case of method, so in case of the uh, proverbs or idiomatic expression, we do not translate it or translate them literally. So if I were again, it's supposed to be what supposed to be was. So here, whether we have I or uh, even another, even if we change, if for example she, we keep it the same. If she were, we do not say what if she was. Why? Because this is a hypothetical situation. We call it well subjunctive. Well subjunctive. So here we do not follow the traditional rule, or we do not rule, uh, follow the rule of the language. But uh, we uh, try to uh, change or make a deviation to the rules.